Hey, in this video, let's take a look at what it would take to add some fiber mesh to a character. So I am uh, here in ZBrush, and as you can see, I just grabbed the default uh, character from, uh, it's in the tools, and it's this guy, Nick Z Human. So he's just the uh, default uh, ZBrush guy. And the only thing I did is I just added a couple uh, features to him, like I pushed the cheeks in, but he's the default guy, I didn't do anything to him. Uh, and I just painted a little bit of skin and added some uh, eye. So that's just using poly paint, right? So, so now uh, just for fun, I want to see what it would take to uh, maybe add some fiber mesh and just see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, fiber mesh right in here. And before we do anything, the way fiber mesh works is you must. Uh, use masking to tell ZBrush where you want the fiber mesh to be. So technically the very first step should be uh, make sure you activate the layer of the skin wherever the character is. And I do have my active symmetry on so I'm, I can press X on my keyboard. And now what do I need to do is just let's just uh, simply select the part of the head that we want the hair to be. So just simply paint in your uh, your mask and maybe it's smarter if I do it a little larger. So maybe all of this. And I'm gonna paint all of this. I'm not really sure why my uh, computer is not updating my mask, but it's just a rough, uh, demonstration. I'm just going to keep selecting all of this and I can also hold on the control key and grab mask that way as well. All right, so once you've done, you can also of course uh, change holding the S key, you can change the uh, size of your brush and then holding down control and then pressing the old key, you can clean up uh, part of the mask that maybe, you know, maybe you want it to be a certain way. So keep that in mind, uh, you can do that. So once you are done, uh, that looks pretty good. So once you're done uh, masking, let's go ahead and jump into the fiber mesh tab, which is right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the slide box fibers. And just for fun, I'm just gonna grab something crazy like this uh, fibers 51. It seems uh, pretty outrageous. So I'm gonna press comma on my keyboard. And now what I wanna do is I wanna change the max fibers to be, uh, I'm gonna put mine to like 100. I really don't wanna have any bold uh, spots. Uh, let's change the length to like something fun. Maybe I'm gonna go with like 250. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to change anything else and the base, I want, I want my base to be maybe gray with uh, white so it's kind of like a street fighter kind of uh, look and I'm just going to say accept. So as soon as you say accept it's going to ask you do you want to activate fast preview, I'm going to say no because uh, I want to make sure we're looking at the same thing and I'm, I'm in my uh, hair layer. And now what I need to do is I'm going to go to my brushes and select something called, I'm just going to grab this groom hair short, just click on that, make my brush kind of large, and I'm going to press X on my keyboard. And now what I can do is I can just groom the hair to be a certain way, like if I want it to, uh, and then if it's too intense, uh, you can, I believe you can change the intensity, maybe you can see that it's affecting it a little less. So it's not so dramatic. And once you uh, are, are done, so in my case, I'm just kind of doing kind of a futuristic fighter kind of thing. So you can also hold on, hold on the shift key and that will make the hair shorter. Keep that in mind. That's kind of cool. Um, and another thing you can do, if you want something longer, you can just grab the move key, also make it kind of large, and you can literally just pull on these, make them larger. So shift will kind of 
shrink it and then uh, move will kind of pull on it. So you can change the length of your hair in real time. And then if you want to groom it, uh, again in this case I'm just going to use a hair short and you know put it in position the way you like it. And once you're done we should be able to just simply uh, render it and see what that looks like. So I'm going to click on BPR and take a look. And there it is. So that is a quick way to add uh, fiber mesh to your uh, characters. And I am seeing a little bold spot there, so I'm not happy with that. So I'm just going to move this aside a little bit. Maybe move. Let's go ahead and bring this down a little. See if we can make it a little better. All right, and I'm gonna do that one more time. Let's see if it looks a little nicer. So you can, you can do a couple touch-ups, but um, ultimately this is the result, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, the dark outline that I have, I just uh, if you care to do the same, that's under uh, render. Uh, BPR filters and I just turned on this little guy uh, he's called sharpen so if you just bump the radius uh, you'll get this cool little outline all right thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you next video